relationships versus degeneracy. All right, so I talked to one of my friends recently about this and she was talking about how she was wanting a relationship, but she was also, and by the way, yes, I have only one friend girl. I'll never have a friend girl be, again. And like in addition to her, cause that's just not my style. There's a long, there's a long uh, context behind that. Anyways. So she was talking about, oh, should I go into a relationship or should I just stay friends with benefits with this person? And I was thinking to myself, what is this culture? Like, what is this dating culture today? It's either one of two things. It's either a relationship, which is a commitment to one person, or if you're just a big G, as many people as you want. Just kidding. Kind of. Or just friends with benefits, coping, like just degeneracy and what is friends with benefits well i pretty much boiled it down to one or i guess a few but the main theme of friends with benefits is is oh i don't want to be alone anymore so i want to find a partner to do stuff with me and i'm just like well wait that kind of seems childish and kind of seems degenerate and actually this is what she was saying she was saying, oh, I, I don't want to be alone. Uh, you know, I want a relationship, but this chick doesn't want to give me one. And I'm just like, wait a second, wait a second. So you're telling me that you would rather, since you're not content alone, you would rather just kind of settle. And let me tell you why friends with benefits is not beneficial. And of course, for some people, it is beneficial. But overall, let me tell you why it's not beneficial. Because you're training yourself essentially subconsciously and subtly over time that this is how shit works. You really have to compromise your own principles, typically in a friends with benefits setting. What does this mean? Because you don't have responsibility over them. You don't have authority over them. You don't, you know, kind of have this commitment thing. Now, of course, you can set some boundaries and guidelines to where like, hey, you're not going to call me this or not going to do this. And... If they don't listen, then you're just like, all right, I'm bouncing out. But overall, you really don't have responsibility over that person. And because it's just like a, a wish wash kind of thing. And so what does that mean? For me personally, what I think that means is you're just training yourself to be like, oh, I fucking hate when she does this. But you know what? Since we're, we're only friends, oh, since we're not in a relationship, I got to let it slide. So what does that tell you over time subconsciously? You just don't stand on business. So I think that affects relationships because when you get into a relationship, then a relationship, the structure is way different than friends with benefits. So you've pretty much been playing. You've been pr pretty much been like doing all these training matches eventually to when like you're looking for a, right, a relationship, but you've been training for the wrong sport. You've been training for friends with benefits. You don't know how to provide like stability with emotions because with the chicks who you, you were being friends with benefits with, you just said, that's not my problem. We're not dating or something like that. So it's just like, So I just want to make you guys aware of this because if you're a guy who genuinely wants a relationship at some point in his life and he's doing things like friends with benefits, for example, just let you know, yeah, the experience is kind of cool just to get like understand. But what people don't tell you is you have you're learning a certain like achieved mannerisms with friends with benefits that are way different than a relationship so if you transition into a relationship oh, i want a relationship now you're gonna have to unwire and rewire the kind of game rules of friends with benefits and i say this to say because you attract people women differently so think about this when you're friends with benefits, how do you attract her? You might post your like, 
shirtless thirst trap picture and leave her on red for two days. That's how you attract her. How do you attract a relationship, a high quality relationship chick? You communicate with her and you hold a certain presence. Two completely different things. So I know this video, you can mis mix and match and you can argue that, yes, I can still get away with friends with benefits and I can do that. But most people can't because it's just such a... What's the word I'm looking for? I'm looking for... It's just like such a, a skill-based discrepancy. If, you, if you're like 27... Okay, maybe fine, you can get away with doing these two. But if you're a college-aged young man, you're not going to know the difference. And you're going to subconsciously bring over, like, your, re your wiring and, like, your baggage from your friends with benefits. And you're going to be like, what the fuck? Like, I'm trying to get in a relationship. But, like, she's saying, you know, it just, it, the overlap is bad. So, I just wanted to... Say my two cents for you, for you youngins. And if that sounded good, I want you to check the link in the description. Check out my Discord. I'm doing a free course for you guys because I know what I'm talking about. And I feel like a lot of guys need to hear what I have to say. Damn right.